Good Sunday morning to you. All right, let's try and uh, do day two of the recovery here. Get another 15, maybe 20 minutes in. Um, but before I do that, uh, there was something that I did get done in the last uh, week. Uh, if you look at the lawn, you might notice that it's, it's particularly green and long over there. Um, and maybe a bit more on this side than on that side. We had a problem. We have two, I'm gonna try and do this. I shouldn't be walking so fast. Two sprinkler valves right there. And one of them uh, earlier in the week just broke loose. Uh, went off in the morning. We have no idea how long it was running for, but uh, when the sprinkler system told it to shut off, it did not shut off and it kept going for hours uh, before we realized there was a problem. Then we tried a couple of different things with these. You can normally take that square handle and turn it uh, clockwise to shut it off. That did not work. So we ended up shutting the water off to try and fix it. And then I had to have somebody go run out and buy a replacement valve and Whew, that was a, a day. I was still in pain uh, or just getting over the pain and to have to come out and do that seemed like a risky thing but I know how to do it and uh, other people around here either can't physically do it or didn't know what to do. So I got it done. We got the water turned back on. Then when I was testing I noticed that the sprinkler over here, let me try and walk carefully. Um, you can kind of see it sticking up at the, the wall there. That used to be a pop-up sprinkler. Uh, I did not have a suitable way to replace it, so I ended up just putting a, a riser and another uh, sprinkler head on there and got that back on functioning. But apparently maybe when the sprinkler valves went out, uh, or that one valve, sorry, when that died, um, I think there may have been like a a large pressure spike in the water line. It had blown the uh, pop-up off of there. Uh, it literally cracked the pipe and it came off. So that's what I had to get that fixed. That's why it's so green here because uh, even after I fixed the valve, the next time that sprinkler zone ran, we got a bunch more water here. So. The grass is quite happy, but uh, the water bill is going to be a bit higher. Uh, further update, the um, city has not returned to take care of the... Well, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without hurting myself. The city has not returned yet and not notified us about uh, putting the new uh, transformer up there. So I'm not sure when that's going to happen. I still have a pile of dirt here, but the blocks that I had done right before this all happened seem to have set up reasonably well. So I think the next, uh, or sometime in the next few days, is going to be trying to figure out how to clean this up and put some of the soil back in there, at least until I'm well enough to get back to where those flags are and build the rest of it. Because I've also got to move that rock, and that's, I think, a real risk to my knee. So that's what things are looking like out front. Uh, then on the side, I did have, we had a family get together yesterday and let's see if we can get the gate open here. There we go. And they helped me out to get the uh, bell peppers down. I generally don't like bell peppers, but I was just curious enough to to try and actually it was quite good uh, just I thought they were gonna be all soft and everything No, they were nice and firm and uh, they the green peppers had turned red so maybe I need to look into more about bell peppers but uh, they they were sweeter than I imagined they would be also I had tried to show you last time uh, the spaghetti squash that was up there well that we pulled the spaghetti squash down and that one looked good and I gave it to my brother so he could enjoy it at home. And then over here, 
if I work my way over a little bit more, he did manage to cut out a couple of dead things for me. But also up on the hill there was a cantaloupe. Unfortunately, the sort of public facing side of it looked great and it would have been a nice cantaloupe to enjoy. But up along the hill, the bugs had gotten to it and uh, eaten through in a couple of holes. So we tossed it in the trash and again, when it uh, crashed into the trash, it made a really nice smell, but not going to be worth trying to eat. So things are moving along here. Now I have a project I want to work on in the back. Okay, so now I'm set up on the tripod and what I want to do, the tomatoes are, uh, well, all except for the black creme, are doing really well and growing into each other and growing into other things and then kind of spilling over to the, on the front there. I kind of want to cage them up, um, but trying to put a traditional cage on them is a little tricky because those are rectangular boxes. So I think that's what I'm going to work on today is trying to figure out how to take a bunch of uh, thin stakes that I have and try and form some sort of cage to try and keep the plants kind of separated from each other um, and more manageable. So that's what I'm going to work on. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm doing better than I thought I would. Um, don't want to overdo it, but uh, and the headphones are working out nicely. I bought a new set of Bluetooth headphones so I can listen to music uh, without worrying about getting the other one wet. But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit bunched up here. Let's, let's see if we can't go mobile. Um, it's it's a big bunch. Uh, I don't know if I need to thin it out or what, but that was one plant, and the surprise was I, I didn't think I had anything growing as far as the cherry tomatoes. This is, sorry, this here is part of the Roma. Put that up in there somewhere. And my cherry tomato is sitting here. Let's see if I can't. That's the cherry tomato. So that makes me happy. Uh, so now I'm just gonna do a bit more weeding. Okay, future me, how long has it been since I started out front? <laughs> wow, I've been out here a lot longer than I thought I would. And uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, it just surprised me that I've been out as long as I have. I think it's about 12.30 now. I could swear I came out 11-ish. I don't really think I've been out that long, but I'll put the number up here. Um, just makes me happy that I survived this long and I'm not feeling pain. I am being careful about my knee, but uh, this is positive for recovery here. So I'm a happy guy. I got the weeding done. I got one or two things left to put away before the sprinklers actually go off here because they've already started on the side. And uh, yeah, I'm in a good mood. That's it for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good chilly overcast morning to you. It's Tuesday. It's been a couple of days. I am pacing myself. But of all the things I thought I was going to do, uh, something new has come up. Let's walk the way around here. It turns out uh, I have heard through one of the neighbors who talked to the city that they're going to be coming up and finally putting the transformer up here in a couple of days. So the one thing that I had on my list that really kind of needs to be done before they get here is right in here is this uh, 
right here I've got that adapter there with the two green things on the top and the brown uh, tubing coming out for one of the sprinklers. Um, part of the problem is, let's see if I can sort of show you, this block here, um, it doesn't sit up right and that's because I've excavated around here so I need to backfill and while I do need to eventually mortar in between all of these blocks and get a little bit more between the pad and that first one, uh, I think what I'm going to do just as a stopgap is I'm going to put in some landscape fabric to keep the stuff from spilling through those gaps and then actually backfill. But before I can backfill with the soil that's been sitting here, I need to get all of the debris off the top of it because I don't really want to bury all of this stuff. So, step number one, we get the leaf blower out. That way I don't have to bend over and pick it all up. Okay, that was pretty simple. Next up, landscape fabric. Not bad. Uh, my back hurts more than my knee. Uh, my knee doesn't really hurt. I just, it's more my back hurting right now. I'm going to call it quits at this point, but uh, I put away the tools. Uh, I think this is reasonably well protected now. I mean, there's always still the chance that they're going to break that little adapter there. Uh, it's a little harder to see now, but that was kind of the idea. That's why I set up that one larger block right here. Uh, no, actually, you're not seeing that. Now that I look at it, there, this one here <laughs> is taller so that I could retain more behind it. Uh, and then it dives off to the normal level on that one. Uh, but yeah, I think this, I'm hoping this will be good enough. Worst case scenario, I gotta go buy another adapter. I mean, I just replaced this one last week after I realized the first one I put on there I must have over tightened because it cracked and it was leaking pretty badly but now stuff is backfilled so that's that and while I was putting away tools I spotted something let me show you so a couple of days ago we managed to do a little bit of harvesting I thought we'd gotten what I could see and then I just realized as I looked over that I got these yard long beans just sticking out here. So let's see if we can't. That's one. That's two. Not bad. All right. I'm going to call it quits here, bring these inside, wash up, uh, and uh, go on with the rest of my day, find something to do, take a couple ibuprofen. That's it for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Thank mm -hmm. you.